<laughs> it's like an obscene amount of muffalo that I, I have now obtained. More than I know what to do with. Um, so I'm going to set up another dumping stockpile here for slag, just because I'm running out of areas to hold slag. So I'm going to have it be a slightly preferred priority um, to enable processing the metal to be easier so that when Ramanen or whoever my crafter is needs slag, it's just sitting in the stockpile here. Oh, Jesus, this is too much meat. So I've slaughtered a few of them, but I'm actually going to halt that as well just because Muffalo take up less room as corpses and more room as meat. Um, and I don't want the meat to spoil. Yeah, huskies are completely unrestricted entirely. They're, oh, actually, right now they're not, but they will be. Um, there. I had a raid, you know, I had the Muffalo swarm, and I forgot to lift the ban on their movement. Um, but now they're free about to move everywhere. So I've got some Plasteel turrets freshly built. I do not have enough Plasteel for any more. But my um, chicken farm, or roost, or whatever you want to call it, is already yielding chicks. Um, so soon I'll be able to, I don't know what number, but soon I'll be able to source meat without actually murdering anything, which will be different. Um, so I've got about equal parts, uh, corn and meat, which is funny how that worked out. I didn't intend for it to be that way. Um, I was just sort of slaughtering on the fly, but that will actually be really useful for, um, crafting meals. Yeah, I actually, um, um, my female husky was pregnant, Ripley was husk, uh, pregnant, and I forgot to unrestrict, and as a result of my neglect, she lost the litter, which is stupid, stupid, stupid of me. But, uh, you know, it's my mistake, and I live with that. But there's a little bit of um, overhead mountain area here that I want to patch up. Yep, that actually gets it all. And I have some limestone blocks saved to do just that. That's why I crafted it. So I'm stripping out some of these slag here, but I can queue them up to haul some more chunks into the zone. So it's sort of... Because eventually I'll be processing this slag, and, uh... And it's nice to have, um... Metal on hand to do that with. But these slowing barriers are just about back to full capacity. Yeah, that'd be an interesting um, additional mechanic to put into the game, which is boots for animals. Uh, I don't know exactly how that would work. Uh, I guess neglect or slaughtering their they're young would put them in a bad mood but i'm not sure if there's so much that you need to do just to maintain a healthy community that i'm not sure if um requiring you to like play with animals would really add i mean the thing is there's a lot in this game that is missing like hey why can't i repair my guns or you know stuff like that but there's so much that you're requ required to do just to maintain a colony as it is now that Adding additional requirements like that could could really actually be more harmful than good because then you're stuck doing all these micromanagement tasks. I mean, that's that would turn this game somewhat into like The Sims and less like uh, RimWorld that we know now. So I have Ramanin back hauling um, granite chunks. I need a little bit more granite. Oh, I just had an electrical fault. Not a very good one. Pretty significant one. So I'm going to cancel whatever Davies was working on and 
put them on fire cleanup. No real harm done. I think some of the dead muffalo burned a little bit, but I've got plenty of muffalo. So that's fine. One thing I don't have in this base is backup batteries, but because I don't require a lot of power, I sip power from the grid right now. I don't have a lot of things that, that are energy intensive, like grow lights or hydroponic tables and things like that. I'm, I've been getting by with just a few batteries. Now, eventually I should probably um, add some more, but... Field Smithy. Um, am I able to grow hops? Nope, still not able to grow hops. I really need to get a grower here. And then another thing I can do, just aesthetically, is smooth the floor here. Doesn't really matter, but figured it should look nice. I use it a lot. I want to expand it, too, as I've mentioned, with uh, moisture pumps. So That's a pretty unique feature of this base. Not every base is going to have like a kill window that is impassable to enemies uh, because of the unique terrain I had here. Now, I... In the current um, version, uh, in this current version of RimWorld, there has been a lot more terrain features like that that I haven't seen in the past. So, um, you know, that's different. Um, there's a lot more uh, varied terrain, I've noticed, which is pretty cool. So I have some power lines to replace. Uh, see, so I'll add a little bit. No, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to put some turrets back where they belong. I don't have a whole lot of steel. Um, yeah, so all of you people tuning in now, some of you wished that there was a European-friendly broadcast. So I'm doing one now, and I might do one later tonight as well. Sort of a duo here, so that uh, regardless of the time zone you're in, you'll have something to watch. Yeah, they do walk faster in smooth floor. Um, it has full walk speed, whereas this rough stuff can slow you down. Alright, so I have two more turrets to build. I don't have all the steel I need for them. But I do have some mining queued up. And I believe Griffith is my miner. Then I need to prioritize him to go mine again. What are some of his other tasks? He is animal handler, which I don't have a need for at the moment. Oh, so lots of chicks. As you can see, I did just have a lot of stuff hatch. Uh... I don't know. I don't think I have actually any unfertilized eggs. I think they've all gone into meals. This prisoner is bad, but I'm still trying to recruit them. Uh, just because I need the numbers. If that makes sense. There are, uh, let's see. I think there are a nervous nudist. Or jealous nudist, actually. Yeah, jealous nudist. Um... Nudism isn't necessarily bad, especially in a warmer climate like I have here. It serves a purpose, I suppose. Um, but, I, you know, if, of course I'd prefer... Uh, maybe... Well, I can always move tool cabinets. Um, but I'd prefer if they weren't, you know, a nervous wreck or whatever. So here I'm mining just to check if I have overhead mountain. 
because eventually I'll line my base with granite. Uh, granite is, I can hide my power lines inside granite and it's more beautiful. I guess this mountain will be limestone though. And here I'll convert over to granite. So none of this has overhead mountain. I can dig that out too. Yep, lots of little chicks. Uh, in fact, I got a... Oh, they are all inheriting restrictions. So that's helpful. I forgot that that was a feature. I think none of this has overhead mountain. Which is reclaiming really a, a, a pretty fair chunk. Oh, this has overhead mountain. We're claiming a pretty fair chunk of territory that I could use, which is sweet. All right, so I need a little bit of uh, limestone blocks for this spot here. I also should have like a kind of a more permanent stockpile. That's maybe one of my next projects. I think if I put a orbital trade beacon right in here, right around here somewhere uh, maybe here I'll wall that all off and it'll be a nice trade area I still have to think about that now that's going to be a whole lot of construction there but might as well smooth it all out I'm living here now and now that I have a actual wall, I can put my power lines in the wall so as to hide them from being ugly. Because if this is a permanent little habitation, I might as well have it be pretty, right? All right, so I no longer need these limestone blocks. Hell, I don't even need the granite blocks at the moment. So I'll put ramen in back on whatever task he wants whatever task is best suited for him, which is probably crafting. So I think I'll have a granite wall down like that. Doesn't reclaim, reclaim a whole lot of space, but you know, at this point I, I'm pretty set on where my walls are, so. Um, at the moment, it doesn't look like I need any more roosters. Uh, he is fertilizing every egg that comes out. And these chicks, I believe, can turn into roosters. I mean, that's, that's how it works in the real world. I don't know exactly how it works here, but I suspect that remains to be the case. Um, but I don't need that many chickens, so when they're full, full grown, I can think about getting rid of them. Oh, geothermal generator broke down. That's not good. I mean, that's, I guess, the reason I have batteries. Well, I have a fairly large uh, corn stockpile now. Wow, you're just going to town. What are you, like a 14 now? 13? It's sad that just to by how fast I can hear him chipping away at it, I can tell roughly how good he is as a miner. That's a, a sign of a true RimWorld addiction, I suppose. I'm actually going to cancel that stuff. I'll just put a concrete floor here. I'm just going to have him haul it back. He's mined a lot out there. Need to do some hauling. I believe Ramanin, yeah, Ramanin's hauling as well. So soon I'll have this um, electric smelter built. Everyone's got a warg for cowboy hat celebrating my victory over the wargs. Uh, Davies and Ramanin could use some dusters, so I'm going to make two dusters. Um, they're berries, 
uh, spoil in 12 days. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that's a good point. I'll put them indoors and keep them out of the porn zone. And of course, my dogs somehow know that that is what I've commanded. I guess in a way, you know, the player of a rim world is like God. And God's just like, hey, dogs, pick that up. And they do. I don't know how it works, but I'm glad it, it works. Uh, so one thing I'm going to prioritize here is Ramanin, once he's done crafting, I want him to clean up the base. The base is kind of nasty. In fact, I want him to clean now. Which he is... Uh, now commanded to do. Yeah, they, they spoil in about a, two weeks, I think. Thereabouts. Whereas it takes seasons upon seasons for uh, corn to spoil. Alright, so I have my slow down dumping stockpiles. I've got uh, smelters in the works. I've got most of my turrets rebuilt. Ramen in here is hauling. No, I want you to clean. Now he's cleaning. It's much. I find it much easier to tell if something's broken if it's actually clean to begin with. Um, it's hard to tell like where you have damage and the like if it's covered in rubble and debris. Personally, I find it pretty hard to, to tell. Now, fortunately, it's raining, so. Um, So, all of the blood that's out there will wash away on its own. <laughs> Thanks, Newman. He said, "All hell the God King round him up." And if I was, if I was a God King, I probably would have had uh, Trollo and Morgan survive. I've made some mistakes on this map. I think I've, I've done a lot better on the, this stream than I have in the past, though. In the past, I've had situations where people have perished. And I haven't done nearly enough to prevent it. But here, I've sort of dug my heels in and made quite a lot of t defenses. Now, I might, with my excess silver, uh, actually, I'll do just that. I'm going to call on slavers. Um, because I haven't had a lot of passing ships, and I really want to, um, I really want to get some additional people here. So if I have to call on slavers, then so be it. So I'm going to work on this orbital trade area now. mortars away from the chickadees. So Raman in here is tidying up all this blood and gore that I have left. I believe he's just about done. Although, just from people running around, they leave a lot of, a lot of filth. All right, so he's close enough to being done. Then I'm going to put him back on to crafting, tailoring, and hauling. Not necessarily in that order, but. So the reason I haven't yet tamed the Mega Sloth is they're hard to train, they eat a lot, and they're not particularly great at combat. Whereas if I just tamed some Boom Rats, which... Actually, why not? Psychiatric Patient? Yeah, n but, oh, but you're Gwen's father. Crap. Um, 
Yep. Being Gwen's father makes him truly Welsh. And this whole playthrough is about being Welsh. So I have to look after my own. So they are psychically sensitive. t uh, they're not terrible. I mean, they at least can haul and stuff. So, um, let's see. I'll change their priorities here. They are Earth. Pavel Earth. Well, well, my friend, uh, your name is going to be Chris now. 